we're going to be starting a new little mini series here, um, or a somewhat series here, a uh, little playlist of videos here. It's a little video idea I've wanted to do for quite a while. I mean, I know my channel is young-ish. It's like two and a half, almost two and a half years old. Still a video I've had rattling in my mind for a while. And I had this whole list out of all these hats to talk about in this video. And I compiled all the pictures together. And I'm like, hmm, you know, there's actually more than just these ones. And it turned into just maybe one video, maybe two videos. Now it's going to be a little mini-series here. But I, we are going to explore the lost hats of Professor Hatter's Lecture Hall. The hat set either I missed out on because some reason, uh, or because it just wasn't, you know, by the time I saw it, it's like, hey, that's a cool hat to get, but they don't sell them anymore. I had to, like, find them, you know, on a eBay or Mercari or other kind of site like that, um, or something else like that, so... I'm going to be going through a whole bunch. I don't know how many hats I have, actually. But it's at least... It, it's, at, it's about... I'm looking through my, my footage here on my clips. It's about 100 hats, maybe, that are lost. So some of them are... And when I say lost hats, now... I've had hats before that I've considered lost, and some of them are completely lost, like, there is a absolutely good chance that they're never going to be made again, and it would be impossible to find them. And some, maybe I eventually do find them, so there's not a huge chance that they're impossible to find. So it's kind of a mixture, I mean, I'll explain, you know, what the likelihood of, you know, going through each hat, the likelihood of getting each hat maybe but I mean it's kind of fun to you know have these hats to like look back to it like you know I wish I got that hat just because that there are hats out there doesn't mean you have to get them all I don't know who coined the phrase um, but you can't Pokemon hats you can't catch them all it's kind of a sad truth but it's just the case you can't catch them all I do have a lot of Pokemon cards though but I'm still missing a Charizard Blastoise and Venusaur card Anyways, we're going to go through a few hats through this video first. So each of these videos, they're going to have like a bit of a theme where like this one is going to be hodgepodge hats, non-sports related hats. Uh, there will be one video just about college hats or one about just baseball hats or one just about Chicago Cubs hats that I've lost out on because there's quite a few of them. Really, there are. So, I think this is going to be fun. Um, of course, throughout this video, the other videos of my lost hats, um, maybe we can all share in the comments together hats that we've all lost out on or can't find anymore. You know, help each other out, you know? I think that'd be kind of cool. I think we should uh, start class. Class, get a notebook, pen, pencil. Class, and session. Let's go. So I'm going to look, be looking at the camera here, look at my screen here for the hats and I'll tell you what the story is behind each hat and why it has a significance and where I found it before and why I kind of wanted it and kind of a few other, you know, tidbits about it. Um, I mean, I'm going to shrink myself down so you can see the pictures as well. So I'm going to use my movie magic here and shrink myself. Getting smaller and smaller and smaller and s crap, I disappeared. Okay, too small, too small. A little bit bigger, bigger, bigger. Stop, stop. Perfect. Okay. 
first hit on the chalkboard here is a New Era 1550, the Chicago City Flag on the hat, and it's a customized hat tailored to the design of the Chicago flag. You've probably seen the Chicago flag once or twice, maybe. Um, it's pretty iconic. It's one of the most iconic city flags in the United States because of its simplicity. Um, Chicago uses the star for a lot of different reasons, for a lot of different marketing. Um, they used it for the NBA All-Star Game in 2020 in Chicago. Um, hard to believe that it was just this year, in 2020, and this, everything happened so fast before the dark times of the plague. So, the stars, if you've ever wondered, well, why are there the four stars? So, look at the hat here. So, it's got the red brim and then the light blue crown on the back four panels. The front is the white, like the flag background, and then the two uh, stripes. The two stripes represent the Chicago River, and that's why, in an ideal world, that's the color of the river. But in real life, that is not the color of the river. That is the total opposite of the color of the river. If you want to see the color of the river, let me show you what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, it's black, isn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah. That's, that's why, yeah. It's not good. And then you have the four stars on the front, and on the back it has the years for each star. Um, being picky here, uh, but I would have liked it if it read in chronological order going left to right, not right to left. It's just kind of a Western reading habit that we all have, that we read from left to right, not right to left like they do in uh, Asia. I mean, it's fine, it's just a little preference. Uh, but if you're wondering what the what those years rep represent, there's 1939, 1871, 1893, and 1833. Those represent the years of why we have each of those four stars. Those four stars is not for the quality of service that uh, you get in Chicago. Um, it's actually five stars, actually. Unless we're Unless you're on the south side, then it's um, negative four stars sometimes. Each star represents kind of a pillar of Chicago history. The first one being Fort Dearborn in 1833. I mean, it lasted a little bit long. It wasn't just in 1833, but it kind of lasted a little bit longer than that. It was just a staple of Chicago. Chicago started in 1833. Fort Dearborn was kind of like a staple kind of... Uh, you had Fort Dearborn, and then in... 1871, you had the Great Chicago Fire, uh, supposedly started by Mrs. O'Leary's cow that uh, knocked over a gas-burning lamp, and kind of from the Great Chicago Fire, you kind of get the suburbs, so kind of the original um, Great Migration, or original White Flight, I guess you could say. The 1893 star is for the Columbian Exposition, the Great Chicago Fair, you know, if you've ever seen the Devil in the White City books. Really big thing for architecture back then. It was like this whole big world fair that was hosted in Chicago. It was supposed to be for the 400th anniversary of Columbus's um, exploration of the Western Hemisphere, but it got delayed by a year. I forget why. But the Columbian Expo Exposition, the World's Fair, then, it was like a huge deal. One of the coolest things to happen to Chicago ever, I think. Second would be the Chicago Cubs winning the World Series in 2016. And then the last star is the Century of Progress. It's another big kind of World's Fair that Chicago hosted. So it was once, at one time, thought that if the IOC didn't hate America then if Chicago was to get the 2016 Olympics, it was said that, hey, we should get the we should get another star on the flag then. I kind of like the four stars, good symmetry. So this is one of my lost hats that I wanted from Lids, but by the time I saw it on Lids' website, it was sold out. So 
and it would be really, really freaking hard to customize this kind of hat. Some of these hats I could replicate, maybe, mm, but this one for sure I can't. So it'd be I, I've seen replicas, I've seen ones close to it, but nothing just exactly right like this one. Next is going to be a Swedish flag hat. So on the front of the hat you have the cross, which is a kind of a standard for Scandinavian uh, flag designs, like Finland, it's not really the Scandinavian, but Finland, uh, Norway, Denmark, Iceland, I think that's it, maybe there's one more, but that's all I can really think of right now. But um, I'm part Swedish, 25% Swedish, my mom has 50% German, 50% Swedish in her side of the family, and then my dad is 100% Czech, so it's pretty even, pretty, pretty e easy math to remember. So this one I had wanted back when Sweden was making a good run for the World Cup in 2018, and this one was really cool, but it just wasn't available. I like the, as a snapback, it has the, the flag on the front, and then underneath the brim, it has the Swedish horses, and that has the, the significance with the old ancestry of Sweden. Um, we have them all over my house, especially my grandma's house. And on the back, you have the three Swedish crowns. It's kind of like a um, country insignia. They have it on the jerseys of the... Um, Swedish national hockey team, so it's a, like a really encompassing cultural hat for Sweden, but it's not available, which really sucks. So currently it's still unavailable, all these years later. So um, it'd be nice to find something to replicate that, or find something close to like that. So it'd be kind of cool to have a heritage hat. I do have. In one way or another, a hat that represents each of my heritage, or each of my ancestry countries. Uh, I have a German soccer hat, a Swedish flag hat, and then a custom-made uh, Czech hat. Another hat from... Amazon. I want to collect a hat to represent each state. Um, I think I'm at like 25-ish. Let me check my uh, let me check my spreadsheet here. I have a whole bunch of individual sheets, and I have 30 states actually. Well, 31 including DC. So South Dakota, I mean, is famous for Mount Rushmore. So I wanted this Mount Rushmore hat. It's really cool. It has. As I call them, the boys. It's got the boys, the four boys, Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Teddy Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln, all sitting on the mountain there, and it's they're inside, they're uh, clip-masked into the badge of the National Park Ranger Badge. So I thought that looked really cool, and it's not available anymore. At one time it was, and I didn't jump on it right away, which I, I, I regret. But this would be a really cool one to get to represent South Dakota. Um, there have been other ones, but some of them that look like this are either like trucker hats or they're just too colorful. Like this was like a perfect hat, great dad hat, great denim design, nice colors, and yeah, whatever. I'll have to wait for another time. <laughs> 